hi guys welcome welcome back so today i filmed this makeup look for you and i'm so 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 excited about it because it came out really good i was really nervous about doing this look because i've never ever worked with purples before or like this like dark smokiness but it came out really good like i really like it so this sun is driving me crazy because it's like contrasting with the circle light and so i hope you guys can see the look and everything but this is it again i use the main purple shadow for this look is from the brand Stilazi. if you guys haven't checked them out already check them out now they're great they're affordable and as you can see it's great color payoff so this is the look oh the sun mm. okay i'm gonna try wait there this is the look and it looks complicated, but trust me, it's really easy. I used one, two, three, like four eyeshadows to do this. And yeah. And I'm so proud of myself. I haven't been, I never wear ringed eyeliner, but as of lately, I figured out an easy way to do it. And it's been looking bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how I got this look, please, please, please keep on watching. So I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you guys in my next one, okay? Bye. Hey guys, so I started off with one eye done and I also did my brows and prime my face off camera. So I'm gonna start by buffing in Morocco into my crease. This is from the Anastasia Be Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. And then with a more defined brush, I'm going to take Max Fig Eyeshadow and put that directly into my crease. highlighter slash eyeshadow by the bomb and I keep going back in with that same brush I used to blend Morocco in just to blend everything together now I'm going to take fudge from that same shadow couture palette and buff that into my outer crease. And before I place that purple glittery shadow on my lid, I'm going to use the e.l.f. glitter primer. And this is only $1 and it's comparable to the e.l.f. not the e.l.f. the Too Faced Shadow Insurance which is about $23. Then using a flat brush, I'm, flat brush, I'm gonna take this color PS41 by Stilazi and place that on top of the glitter primer that I put on my lid. take this color heirloom from that same Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and blend that into that outer crease area. I'm going to take a small bit of the color Noir, which is a dark matte black, and add that to my outer V as well.
camera, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner to draw a wing on my other eye that doesn't have a wing on it. <laughs> and as usual, for foundation, I've been using my L'Oreal Pro Matte in 109 and my Maybelline Dream BB Cream in Dark. Girl Pro Concealer in Coffee, my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in Medium, and I'm also going to be cream contouring today with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze, I think. with the contour today which is why I use this lighter color it's not too light but I think it's the perfect contour shade we don't want it to be too intense and I'm also going to be using this to contour my nose After I finish buffing off all this Sasha powder off my face, I'm going to take my Select Share powder by MAC in the color NW43 to set the rest of my face. contour my cheekbones, my forehead, and also my nose. And remember guys, any cream products that you put on your face must be set with a powder, especially for my oily girls. Excuse my super hairy arms, my dad is like a wolf, so now I'm like wolf daughter. <laughs>
nose and my cheek contour. I'm going to use this highlighting powder from NYX in the color cream that I have a love-hate relationship with. But now I think I'm kind of loving it. It's, it's a great alternative for when you want to clean up your contour or you don't want to add like a shimmery highlight on your nose but you just want a matte highlight to clean up everything. I think it's amazing. However, it can be a little bit powdery but in this case I don't really mind that. For blush, I'm gonna be using my Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. I'm gonna use the last two colors to add some color to my cheeks, and I really, really, really love this palette, and it's very affordable. I think it was about seven dollars, and you get so many pigmented, great colors. highlight that I use to highlight my brow bone on my cheeks which is Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. That powdery look on my face I'm gonna take my all-time favorite Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And then to tame my crazy brows, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eyebrow gel and just take those down. <laughs> and to smoke on my lower lash line, I'm gonna take this eyeliner from Rimmel Scandalize. I'm gonna line my waterline and my tight line. And then I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow fig by MAC to just smudge that out. And to highlight my inner corner, first I'm going to take the same purple eyeshadow that I use on my lid, which is PS41 by Stilazi. And then to highlight it some more, some more, I'm going to take the highlighter slash eyeshadow by Ofra Cosmetics in the color Bliss. I'm in love with this color. And I'm going to just coat my lower lashes with the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. This, I, this mascara is perfect for your lower lashes because of how slim the brush is. She think I'm blinded by the fame. But she's still loving me. And then onto lips, I'm gonna just take this lip liner by Ruby Kisses. And I think the color is roasted coffee. I think this lip liner is roasted coffee. And then I'm gonna top that with Naturally transformed matte lipstick by Mac. And I'm just dabbing a little bit of that same Ofra Cosmetics highlighter on my cupid's bow. And this is the final look. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. She love a nigga. She do, she do, she do.